Hello Garners, how are you guys doing today? This video is a part of the Creepy Crawly series. So if you guys haven't seen any of my Creepy Crawly videos, I suggest you go check them out if you're into odd plant theories, ideas, conspiracy theories, just you name it. It's the creepy side of plants and we apply science logic and just a bit of fun to this series so the first video was about the crooked bush which is essentially a bush that grows crooked and they have no idea why it grows crooked and the second video was on the tel aviv plant study which actually talked about how plants scream yes plants scream and i go through the study with you and i explain exactly what's going on crazy gross i know but today's video I've been thinking about doing since I first heard about it and I put it off because I thought well it's just people forgetting something that they order online and it's finally showing up because of the world out there and how shipping is working right now. If you order something from Wish or eBay it takes months, <laughs> weeks usually but sometimes months to get your product but Washington came out today the department of agriculture and actually officially made a comment regarding this conspiracy theory so let's get into it so the conspiracy theory is that the chinese government is sending over seed packets and no one knows what's in these seed packets they don't know what flower or plant is in it. They don't know if there's disease or poison or if the plants are going to germinate and people started reporting this. First time I saw this was actually on Facebook where someone innocently put into a Facebook chat about how they received seeds from China, but they had no idea where they came from. And they claimed they did not order them and they just showed up one day with their address and everything, but the label said earrings or some sort of jewelry on it. Well, as I was scrolling through the comment section, I realized, whoa, <laughs> there's a lot of people that are having this happen. So fast forward a few weeks later and some news agencies have picked it up. One published it in their paper and wrote about unlabeled packages from China containing seeds and Fox News actually did an entire video segment on this and exactly what people are seeing and what happens when they show up, what the labeling looks like, and these people admitting to never having ordered these plants. Up until today, I thought, okay, these people ordered these off Wish. Wish shipping times right now are literal months and so they just they forgot and they just showed up and now they're like well you didn't order these but there is a lot of evidence pointing towards the fact that no these weren't ordered these were unsolicited and they are just coming from china the way they're getting over the border is because of the HST or the shipping code that is being used. Instead of referring to them as plants or a biological entity, they're referring to it as an inanimate object earrings. And it works because I mean, if it went through a scanner, you're going to see earrings. You're not going to see seeds. You're going to think, oh yeah, that's just like studs. I get that. Like the little diamond studs. Sure. Whatever. It's cool. But no their seeds. So Washington Department of Agriculture actually came out with a statement today saying anyone who gets these unsolicited packets of seeds needs to report it to the government and they also cannot remove the seeds from the packet they are in, the airtight sealed packet that they are in. They should not try to germinate them. They should not throw them out. And we'll get into why a bit later but most importantly to send in a statement or a report saying that you have received unsolicited chinese seeds why do they want you to keep them well if you watched my 
my videos on the dangers of ordering seeds online or from out of country, you'll know a little bit about why it's a good idea to actually hold on to those packets and not just dispose of them because they can germinate in the landfills. But the government actually wants you to hold on to them because they may need you to submit them as evidence. Evidence for what? Is there some sort of crazy world thing happening out there that we don't know about where countries are trying to perform different attacks on each other and they're going to have some big high court that's going to go after China for sending disease seed packets? Like, evidence for what? That's just crazy. But in their statement, they also said, and I spoke about this in my video as well, but they talked about how these plants or these seeds could not only be invasive, they could carry diseases, they could carry toxins, and if they are germinated and grown, they could actually be poisonous to livestock and animals. So think about it. If every single house or every second house or third house in America receives unsolicited packets from China and they germinate them, what are the chances of something horribly wrong happening on American soil? I don't know. This is a short video. I don't have many details on it, but I will update you guys as I start receiving information and start accumulating more. But right now I have a news article, one news broadcast, a bunch of Facebook posts, and now the government's statement on this. So. Let me know in the comments below what your guys' thoughts are on this. What do you think is going on? <laughs> like, why is this happening? Do you think this is just seeds that people forgot that they ordered? Or do you actually think that these are unsolicited seeds coming from China? The U.S. government considers it to be um, pretty serious. Like, they, they obviously have found something that has told them that these aren't just forgotten orders and these are actually unsolicited packages of seeds coming over the border but I don't know I don't know what to think I I that's why I'm doing this video I'm really interested in hearing what you guys think or what your thoughts on this are um, personally I do think it's dangerous regardless if it was a forgotten package or something that is evil or inherently like some sort of biological warfare scenario but either way I think it's a bad idea I suggest you check out my video on the dangers of wish and eBay seeds or plants being ordered into your country and exactly what you uh, don't realize you're causing potential environmental harm to in regards to just invasive species diseases and just your environment as a whole in America or in Canada so um, let me know if you've gotten a seed packet and what you've done with it. I'd be interested to know if any of my viewers have actually uh, been able to get one of these or had one of these show up in their mailbox. So this was a fast creepy crawly, but I had to do it because I just, it's going viral right now and I just I have to get the word out. So let me guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like the creepy crawly series, let me know ideas of what kind of creepy plants or creepy plant science, soil science that you want me to do. And I will do it because there's quite a few on my list, but I'm worried, waiting closer to October winter time to do more so these videos because right now I'm focusing on the garden and plant care and um, kind of play-by-play uh, -play of what's happening in my yard and stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will talk to you guys later. Bye!